Right by this part of I-35 sits a billboard with the faces of three teenage boys and the words, fentanyl steals your friends. That billboard sits right on the Buda Kyle line. All three teenage boys on the billboard lost their lives to a fentanyl overdose. To see these, these kids up there, their friends um, up there and realize that this is not a joke. Janelle Rodriguez is one of the people behind the billboard. I wanted that statement to be loud and clear. A statement coming from a mother who lost her 15 year old son Noah from a fentanyl overdose just last summer. It was probably the worst day of my life. Something she says she will never forget. And I just fell to the ground and I yelled and cried. Her son Noah was a big brother, an honor roll student, and an athlete. She says after she lost him, this mother gained courage. From that day on, she vowed to spread awareness on kids and fentanyl overdoses in hopes of avoiding this from happening to another family. One of the largest efforts she's done is this billboard, funded through donations and something fully supported by the Hayes County Sheriff's Office. I mean, there's a million cars that drive up and down I-35 on a weekly basis, so if that sign, could help one person uh, not make that decision um, or, or or have one person reach out and say, I need help, then um, the money is well spent. Hayes County Sheriff's Office Deputy Anthony Hippolito says fentanyl overdoses continue to be a huge issue. In 2022, he says the Sheriff's Office responded to 37 fentanyl poisons. 15 of those were kids. Hayes CISD reported four of their students passed away from a fentanyl overdose. Deputy Hippolito says he appreciates parents like Rodriguez who step up to share their story. Although telling their story hurts, um, it's important to them that they get uh, they get their story out one and they try to bring as much awareness so that other families don't have to go through to uh, don't have to go through what they already have. Rodriguez says her son meant the absolute world to her and it's important she continues to share his story in hopes of saving other kids. I don't know why this happened. I don't know why God allowed this to happen. But I do know that it was for a purpose and and I'm gonna fulfill that purpose. Um, my son did not die in vain.